morning, Highcraft Ridge. This is Haley and Oscar. Today is November 17th, 2020. Bye! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Highcroft. Hope everyone is doing well, and today I'm going to bring you a few gotchas. Congratulations to Lawton Kellogg from Mrs. Larson. Uh, Lawton showed um, excellence, showing all of the rose values, but especially ownership on his first day in the classroom. He followed the routines and kindly reminded those who were not. Way to go, Lawton. Also to Micah Sherman from Mrs. Norell. Micah was showing ownership by helping a classmate navigate the building as a buddy during art class. Way to go, Micah, we are proud of you. Next to Miss Emily Bender in Miss Tilden's class. Emily um, has been the only girl in Miss Tilden's class and she uh, took responsibility for her learning. She's given the best effort and tried to work together with everyone. Awesome job, Emily. We're so proud of you as well. And to Cole in Mrs. Larson's class. Uh, Cole showed responsibility by always working diligently at home. He follows directions the first time and gives his best effort. He is definitely a role model. Way to go, Cole. Those are the gotchas for today. Congratulations, everyone. Hey everyone, it's Bree the Bee, and today I'm going to be showing you a simple drawing tutorial. The thing we will be drawing is a sloth. Follow along if you like, it's really simple. I'm using the program I have this pain X to draw this. Here's what the app looks like if you'd like to try it out for yourself. So first you want to make an oval towards the right of your page. Then draw another oval, but make sure not to make your second oval intercept with your first oval. These two ovals are the body of your sloth and the head of your sloth. Now for the legs. You're also going to want to draw ovals here and remember, make sure that your legs don't intercept with the body. Now we need to add the face. Make another oval inside of your biggest oval, the head. You can put this wherever you like on the sloth's head. A sloth has patch-like thingies on its face, so we're going to draw those next. Draw two ovals on the face, like this. Now it looks more like a sloth instead of a turtle. Now I'm going to erase the lines from the body where the legs are. I would have kept them if they were his back legs, but they're not, so I'm going to erase them. Now for the face. For the nose, I'm doing yet again another oval, but you can do anything for the nose. Be creative. For the mouth, I like to do an upside down Y, but you can do whatever you want. For the eyes, I like to do plain old ovals. If your sloth is a girl, maybe you'll want to add eyelash. Right now, I'm just adding little eyebrows above his eyes. And there you have it. Now you know how to draw a super cute sloth. Maybe you can even teach friends or family members now. <music> There you have it, Highcraft. Be sure to demonstrate your rose values throughout the day.